Hi everybody, I'm Amanda Finks. Today I'm showing you how to make my recipe for the best classic chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie is such great comfort food. I love making it on cool fall nights. It's got a buttery, flaky pie crust and a creamy homemade filling. I like to use mostly fresh vegetables and a combination of dried and fresh herbs to give this chicken pot pie tons of flavor. Let's get started by prepping our vegetables. We need one cup of sliced carrots, half a cup of sliced celery, half a cup of chopped onion, and two tablespoons of minced flat leaf parsley. Once the veggies are prepped, cut one pound of boneless skinless chicken breast into small bite-sized pieces. Add four tablespoons of butter to a large skillet over medium heat. Once the butter is melted, add the chicken, carrots, celery, and onion. Add one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Cook this for eight to 10 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. Add a quarter cup of flour and stir it into the chicken and vegetables until no dry flour remains. Slowly stir in a half a cup of heavy cream. Then one cup of chicken broth. Cook for three to four minutes until it's bubbling and thick. Remove the skillet from the heat and stir in one cup of frozen peas and the minced parsley. Let the filling cool for a minimum of 15 minutes. Pouring hot filling into an unbaked pie crust will make the pie crust soggy, so you do want to give it plenty of time to cool down. Sometimes I like to make the filling ahead of time and keep it in a sealed container in the refrigerator for up to three days until I'm ready to use it. Fit one pie crust into a 9 inch plate. Spoon the cold filling into the pie crust. Top with a second pie crust. Seal the edges of the crust together. Cut three to four slits in the top of the crust to allow steam to escape. Place the filled pie plate on a baking sheet. Bake in a 425 degree oven on the bottom oven rack for 30 minutes. The longer the pie can rest, the less runny the filling will be. I typically wait around 30 minutes before slicing into it. Everything will still be hot and it will hold together nicely. Give this recipe a try, I'm sure you're going to love it. Be sure to follow me for more great recipes. Thanks for watching.